Hi guys, it's me again Sir Ace and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, uh, this is just a continuation of the previous video which is all about set. So uh, this is made for you of course, for the grade 7 learners and also those higher grades that we're not able to, uh, to, to understand well what a set is. And uh, for this video, we are going to talk about the cardinality of set and also subset. We are going to include that and uh, subsets. Subsets. So when we say cardinality of set, it is very easy to understand. It is just the number of the elements in a given set. So like for example, so like for example, we have set A with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. So set A with elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is our set. And you were asked to identify what is the cardinality of, set, of this set, set A. And it is definitely 4. How? You are just going to count the number of elements in the set. So the cardinality of set is 4. How about B? If we have 0, 1, 2, 3. So what is the cardinality of set? It is also 4 because we have 4 elements in set B. How about set C? X such that X is a day in a week. C is equal to X such that X is a day in a week. So what is the cardinality of set? So how many days do we have in a week? We have seven. So the cardinality of set is seven. As simple as that. So cardinality of set, it is just, you're just going to count all the elements of the given set. Next, how about subset? So I have the video of a subset already and if you want to see that video I have there in the in my YouTube channel so I can and I will also be posting the link below so that you can see or watch the first video. So anyway, we are going to talk about subset. So suppose that we have A or set A with elements 1 2 3 and 4 and you were asked to, to find the number of subsets we have for set A. In the previous video, I taught there how you are going to get all the subsets with one element, with two elements, with three elements, and with, with four elements, and so on. But this time, if you were asked to give the total subsets of a given set, you're just simply going to use the formula to raise to n wherein this n represents the number or the number of elements so the number of elements this n is the number of elements so you're going to have 2 raised to 1 how many elements do we have? 1, 2, 3, and 4 so we have 2 raised to 4 so 2 raised to 4 does that mean 2 times 4 but it is a uh, it is you are going to multiply 2 to itself 4 times. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So whatever the exponent is or this n is, that means that is the number of times you are going to multiply 2 to itself. So like for example, this is 2 raised to 2, then you are going to multiply 2 to itself twice. So this will be 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So meaning to say, the total subset of set A is 16 subsets. So we have 16 subsets for set A. Another example. Suppose that we have set B with elements uh, x such that x is uh, is a day in a week. 
x such that x is a day in a week. So, you, how many days do we have in a week? Of course, we have seven days. We have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, we have seven days. Meaning to say, you're going to use the formula 2 raised to n. So, this means 2 raised to 7 or 2 raised to the 7th power. So, you're going to multiply 2 to itself 7 times. So, this will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Then start multiplying. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. And 64 times 2 is 128. So, in set B, we have 128 subsets. So, as simple as that. So, you're just going to uh, to look to the given set and then identify the number of elements that is given and then use the formula which is to raise to n where in n represents the number of elements. If you were asking, is that uh, always 2 raised to n? Yes, it is always 2 raised to n. You're just going to change the exponent n by the number of elements in the given set. So that ends our video for today and I hope you learned something from this video and I hope you can also apply this in your activities. So that's all for today and God bless. Thank you.